Now to Iowa City, where state education leaders met with the public today. The topic of discussion, efficiency and how to improve it. The effort to save time and money at Iowa's three public universities brought a lot of people out, some to share ideas and others to protest the effort. CBS 2 News reporter Mugo Odigwe joined us now with more. Mugo. Scott, the Iowa Board of Regents hired a consulting firm to conduct an efficiency review in all three universities. Today was the public's chance to ask questions about the process, but some people are still skeptical. The University of Iowa's Phillips Hall was packed with staff, students, and members of the community. Some came to learn more, others to protest. We're going to consolidate clerical staff for four departments, you know, that makes it really, really hard to actually do the types of quality instruction. Catherine Lucas Carr is a grad student and president of UE Local 896, a union of teacher and resident assistants at UI. We do about 67 percent of the contact hours on campus and we make up only about two percent of the teaching and instruction budget. Lucas Carr says that budget will either shrink or no longer be available once an efficiency review is completed. We're asking for as much data as possible. The Iowa Board of Regents is paying Deloitte Consulting $2.3 million to conduct that review. It's a comprehensive study of higher education in the state. Part of the goal is to save money and maximize resources. But Regents say they are aware of the contributions of university staff. It is 70 percent of our cost is people and uh, it takes great faculty and great support and administration to uh, make sure that these universities continue to run well. What we do is for the long-term health and benefit of the institution. We want to be a stronger institution on the other end of this. Friday's forum was about getting input and establishing a dialogue with the community. How will program duplication be addressed? Lucas Carr hopes her voice will be considered. The study begins next week at UI. Residents, regents say they will hold more public forums at the other state universities. The consulting firm will also take the questions and suggestions online. Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.